The Georgia peanut plant at the center of a nationwide recall has widely expanded the list of recalled products. Peanut Corporation is now recalling all peanut products produced at the plant since January 1st, two years ago. The company is relatively small, but its peanut paste is an ingredient in hundreds of food products. More than 500 people have gotten sick in the outbreak, and at least eight may have died as a result of salmonella infection. The plant has stopped all production. Salmonella had been found previously at least 12 times in products made at the plant, but the Food and Drug Administration says production lines were never cleaned after internal tests indicated contamination. Products that initially tested positive were retested. When the company got a negative reading, it shipped the products out. The growing problem is Georgia officials talking about toughening state laws. If they had notified us the first time they knew they had a problem, you know what had a problem. They stopped it before it shipped it out. It is sad if it requires a law to do that. Uh, personal responsibility, accountability, and concern for the public and the consumers of your product ought to drive you to do that without the need for legislation. But if we can't get folks to do that, then I certainly would support legislation that's going to make food products safer in Georgia. Most of the older products recalled have probably been eaten. The latest recall covers peanut butter, peanut paste, peanut meal, and granulated products, as well as all peanuts, dry and oil roasted, shipped from the factory. Major national brands of peanut butter are not affected. Peanut Corporation's president released a statement saying, We have been devastated by this and we have been working around the clock with the FDA to ensure any potentially unsafe products are removed from the market immediately. Matt Friedman, The Associated Press.